Dear students, today we are going for an experiment regarding the blood group. An adult human has 4 to 6 liters of blood circulating in the body. The blood contains several cells, several types of blood cells, for example, white blood corpuscles or WBCs, red blood corpuscles or the RBCs and so on. Along with this, blood has also some particles, uh, protein particles, they are called antigens on the surface of the red blood cells. Uh, according to the ABO system, which was firstly introduced by uh, Carl Lanster in 1901, 1901, there are four types of blood groups. Blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. So going uh, for the experiment, and for this experiment we are uh, needed some material for this. The first one is an alcohol, then there will be some antibodies with us. Uh, with the name NTA, NTB and NTD. Then we are needing some glass slides and uh, we also need some uh, blood lancers for it. Then the toothpicks and a piece of cotton for example. So going towards the experiment and now we are going to detect the blood group of a person. Uh, take a piece of cotton and dip in an alcohol. Swipe the finger with this alcohol taking a blood sample with the help of a lancet. Take a slide, glass slide, and take three drops of the blood on this, like this one. Place a piece of cotton on the finger to stop the blood flow. Now, drop the anti monoclonal antibody on this one, NTA on this one, drop another antibody on another drop and monoclonal D on the third one. Then take a toothpick and mix each drop with antibodies but remember to use a separate toothpick for each drop, for mixing each drop. Keep this very sample for around about two minutes. Okay guys, now you can see that agglutination, the process of agglutination has taken place with antibody A and rhesus or uh, rhesus factor plus okay so it means that this blood group is a positive okay so guys this was the experiment and we have detected that this blood group is a positive thank you for watching the video